Hello, reformers, and welcome back to staring at Risha's ass edition. Is that is that what I'm doing right now? I mean, as you can see, we seem to be looking down, and Risha is standing there. So, but we, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think we can actually see anything because she's she's actually wearing a cloak right now. So anyway, I was alt tabbed for a little bit and. <laughs> Uh, I've just come back from modding my gear, as I said I would do, and now we're like this, and I can't, I, I can't actually move. I can't actually move. I literally cannot move. Oh, okay. So I pressed escape, and that's what, and that's what happened. So I escaped the clutches of staring, and I'm now, okay. <laughs> I'm now going to, apparently, head back to Nashadar. That's very weird. Okay, so we've arrived in the red light sector. It's actually very, very shady around here. Very lonely, in actual fact. Even... Oh, no, there's actually one person over there. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Scratch that. I actually thought there were no players down here, because I've been seeing a lot of other players recently. It must be due to the experience event, of course, but... Yeah, for the most part, yeah, as you can see, we're dealing so much more damage. Before, we were doing about 400 with our with our main ability, with our main damage ability, which is, of course, Sucker Punch. And now we're doing about 580, which is pretty insane. So I'm kind of happy with that. But otherwise, I'm going to get... <laughs> I'm going to get seen by these eco-anarchists. Oh, that's, that's not very nice, is it? No. Getting seen by these guys, yeah, not great. There is actually an ability, though, that... Oh, we just gain... Oh, never mind. I thought that this improved our own stealth, but it actually improves our stealth detection. It does improve our chance to dodge, however, which is kind of nice. And also, Shank Shot is within our grasp, which is going to be pretty nice as well. That will enable us to actually use Back Blast when we are out of stealth. So, that's kind of nice. That is kind of nice. Anyway, I'm going to be fighting these guys to finish the bonus. As you can see, look at that. 1190 damage critical hit. That is that is pretty amazing. Obviously, that would not be possible without Corso's blaster, as far as I'm aware. But yeah, here's the stuff that I'm wearing. If you want to take a look at the mods, these are level 22 mods. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the level 26 ones yet, so I went for the 22s. And I suppose we'll upgrade our mods when we get to like level 30 or something like that. Ah, now what do we have here? We actually have a situation. It appears as though. Oh, do we need to just speak to her or? What's actually going on here? It seems like they've turned on her of, in some respect or another, but... Okay, well, let's just see, shall we? I'm kind of surprised. They obviously saw me in stealth because going close triggered a an event of some sort, but... Anyway, let's, let's see what she has to say for herself. You killed those men! What kind of monster are you? Hey, those mercenaries shot at me first. Sure, justify your slaughter. That's what your type always does. The Shanjaru is gone, and I'll never tell you where Momi took it. I'm ready to die for my cause. Are you? This has all been a huge misunderstanding. I'm trying to help you. Oh, no. Momi must have hired you to transport the Shanjaru off Narshada. I'm so sorry about those mercenaries. You came to the wrong place. You're supposed to go to Lager's. This datapad explains everything. Take this too. It's the least I can do after all this. I, uh, I can't stay here. <laughs> Unbelievable. One of these days you have to teach me how you do that. Mm, yeah, uh, well, I, I, I think that Quickdraw McGraw is going to have to teach me as well, Corso. Thank you. Anyway, let's listen to the hollow recording, shall we? Tirka. I'm leaving you in charge until I return. Leger says there's a way to smuggle the Shanjaro off-world. We'll return the poor creature to the wild where it belongs, and show those scum they can't exploit nature on our watch. I'll return from Leger's as soon as I can. Freedom for all life! Ah, at least we got a name. Maybe that blue-headed fella at Druga's knows this Leger. Come on, let's head back to Druga's. Lead on. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so we have to go back to Garum. Okay, so Garum, where are you? Uh, he's gonna be at the... Uh, it's always a good idea to quick travel back to the promenade, because there will always most likely be some place you can go from there. 
but hopefully I have a quick travel point. If I don't have a quick travel point, then obviously a speed a ride is in order, but you do get to see some of the lights and the terrible pollution in the air, because obviously that's fantastic. And the let's have a look. Oh, of course it is to a place where we haven't been before. All right, so I fought through a couple of droids and a couple of other things here. Who, who are they? Imperial. Oh, yeah, Imperial Warehouse Troopers, apparently. So, yes, we now enter the Pleasure Barge once more. Can I... Oh, I can't ride Jeff in here, really? Come on, they allow Gamorreans in here. They must allow Jeff. He's much more civilized. Is he not? I think he is. Wow, okay, they may have changed the layout a little bit. Uh, oh, no, never mind. Okay, it's just some cargo between me and Druga. I wonder whether they're having another skirmish with the Wookiee. No, it doesn't seem like that is the case. They do have a couple of dancers and a musician on the stage, though. That looks like a rather exciting and thrilling thing to watch. And Azza Lee is here. I wonder whether she has something to do with this. Oh, what's actually going on here? There seems to be a lot of corpses and action. Well, I suppose we'll find out. We are so pleased to see you alive. How goes the search? A woman who stole Druga's beast took it to someone named Laje. Ever heard of him? You are one messed up individual. Do not despair, O oh Great Feast Master. We will find you suitable entertainment. Druga must be more gentle. He forgets the Wookiee is collateral. When the gambler repays his debt, he will expect his Wookiee returned intact. Why is that? The gambler won the Wookiee playing Sabak. Forget that beast, hmm? Your revelation is more interesting. The senator's daughter has made a critical error trusting Lage. He is no friend to her. Before the Empire imprisoned Lage in Shadowtown, we purchased some of his beast experiments for Druga's pleasure. Hmm. Ghastly abominations. This guy must be really evil to get imprisoned on Nar Shadda. He was considered too depraved, even for the Empire. That should tell you something. If Lage has Druga's beast, it may already be too late. Shadowtown is extraordinarily dangerous, but you must hurry. Kras Kanuta, Pranokasporta! If you find Druga's Shanjaru, come to these coordinates. Goodbye. And hello. The name's Zank Helrod, Captain. I'm Rogan the Butcher's personal bounty hunter. Is that a man or a hover tank? You like my armor? I polished it for this occasion. Zank, you're the shiniest bounty hunter I've ever met. Rogan says I can bring you back in pieces. Hope you don't mind. I've got some new weapons to test. You've got a half-dead Wookiee for a sidekick. Guess beggars can't be choosers. I don't need help killing worm-ridden filth like you. I'll teach you some manners before you die. Oh, I... I, I don't think so somehow. Right. <laughs> I really don't think so. Not with a 1,108 critical hit right there. Right there in the jaw with the sucker punch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that He, he was very shiny, though, wasn't he? He was very shiny. I wonder whether he's rarer than regular bounty hunters because he's a shiny. Yeah. Do you get it? <laughs> well, anyway, there are some more data crystals, and there's level 25. Wow. The speed. The actual speed. Anyway, so now we have to go to Lage, and I assume he is going to be in Shadowtown. So the promenade will be the place to be. You know what I find really cool about the Scoundrel, and I suppose by proxy the... Uh, what is... Oh no, it's the sniper and the... Something? Oh, wow. Cannot believe it. I was just about to talk about the two classes. Anyway, whatever. The other class on the Imperial side. Can't remember it for the life of me for some reason. Great. Good good memory. Good memory. Anyway, 
I was gonna say, what I love about the Scoundrel and its equivalent is the fact that you can heal yourself. And he being able to heal yourself while you're able to deal significant damage, as we are, obviously in a prolonged fight we are not going to be that damaging because we have cooldowns to think about and upper hand charges and things like that, but while you're playing the class story, you can heal yourself with slow release med pack. While Corso is obviously going to be a tank, or whoever you're playing with obviously can be damage or tank. I personally would go with a tank because it, it keeps the aggro off you and everything for the most part. But, I mean, as you'll see, I mean, you can just absolutely obliterate even the stronger enemies. And then if you take any damage, you can actually use this on the move. I mean, look at that. You can just use that right on the move and you can get two stacks of it. And it lasts for a pretty reasonable amount of time, and you can just keep on moving. And that's what I love about this class. You can just literally keep on moving over and over. So you kill this guy, and if he damages you, which he most likely won't because you're using a tank or maybe a damage, and you just kill him before he has a chance to do anything. And if he does damage you, then you just heal it up with that stack ability, you know, with the healing stack ability. And that is just amazing. Obviously, it does help if you are well geared, but even without this gear that I have, it was still just the same. It was it was exactly the same. It's the, it's the tools that they give you that make this class very, very powerful indeed for solo play. I'm actually unsure how it would how it would fare in a group or anything, but anyway, the point is we've leveled up to 25 and I have specced my utility point in sneaky, because we want to be sneaky, sneaky, sneaky scoundrel, yes. And that improves our stealth level, which is going to make it a lot easier for us to sneak by these these things up here. Smart Verbal Thur. Well, I'd like to fight one just to make sure there's no bonus mission or anything. But, ah, there is there is a bonus mission, of course there is. But that's what I really love about the class. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if any other class has had that much utility, because this seems to be the only one that has like really really good utility and I know that speaking about utility in this kind of setting like actually you know min maxing and stuff that's that's just pointless because every every class can actually take on basically anything they want as long as they use a healing companion or a tank or you know whatever but I've just found that this class is probably the best one for that I'm actually kind of weirded out that I'm losing so much energy really fast why am I losing so much energy I shouldn't be losing that much energy. Oh, that's, that's kind of a bit weird. Maybe I should just wait until it fully restores itself before I actually attack. Because I found that the Scoundrel has really good energy, shall we say, management. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we just lost a huge amount when I used Blaster Whip. Why did I, why did I lose? I, I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening with that. Well, that's kind of a bit weird, isn't it? Well, maybe it's a bug or maybe I'm just not realizing how much it actually took, but I, it, I mean, look, it takes, what, 15 energy? We lose all of it when we use Blast, wait a minute, is there something that I've taken that has caused Blaster Whip to use all of our energy to deal additional damage or something? Because that doesn't seem to be the case. I don't think so. Hmm, well, that's strange. That's very strange because it should only take 15 energy, which is exactly the same as Back Blast. And instead it's using everything. Oh no, wait! Wait, never mind. Never mind. Yep. You don't have to comment that I am stupid. I already know what has gone down here. The Verbal Thurs. The Verbal Thurs have an ability that drains your resource. Aha, there we go. Okay, it just seemed it happened every single time I used Blaster Whip, so that was the main reason why I was thinking that that might be the case, but no, no, it's absolutely fine. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so here's Lage, and if he's as depraved as we think, then I know where he's going. Oh, yes, six feet under. My beautiful children, you killed them all. Why? You have something that belongs to Druga the Hut. Please, kill me. Captain, it's that girl from the Hollow, Momi Andrell. What did a sick, filth heap do to her? Leger used me for experiments. Did terrible things. I'm dying. He'll pay for what he's done to you. I don't care about revenge. Don't let him keep that beautiful beast. He's sick. 
Silence, test subject. The Shanjaru is invaluable to my research. I need it. The species displays evidence of evolving sapiens. I must unlock its secrets to engineer my perfect life form. Slaves! He wants to make slaves! Smart beasts that comprehend complex commands and perform multi-stage tasks. What the buyers do with them is their business. Why did you experiment on this poor woman? I certainly wasn't about to use my children. I have no desire for hostilities with Druga or his agents. I extracted genetic samples from the Shanjaru. They'll have to suffice. The beast cage is a programmable repulsor lift vehicle. I'll send it to Druga immediately. Druga only wants the Shanjaru so he can eat the last of a species. And the hut will have his meal shortly. There is no reason for more violence. What you did to Momi is reason enough, you filth. How can you take her side? Her kind would leave us rotting in ignorance. The Shinjaro's genetic samples are the only way to save the species. Get them from Leger. Wait. I'll pay whatever it takes to keep these samples. Leave me in peace so I can finish my research. You're extinct, you lunatic. Oh, stop! My mind is worth too much! Thank you. Take the genetic samples to the Senate Tower on Kurosan. A researcher named Deruda can clone the Shanjuro, repopulate the species. It will be my dying legacy. Leger injected me with awful diseases. Incurable ones. The pain is horrible. I don't want to live like this. Please. Kill me. As long as I get a haul jets out of here, fine. Thank you. Wow, that was... Okay, I wasn't expecting such a body count. I was expecting maybe killing the one guy, but I didn't expect her to have any problems. I thought she was just taken prisoner, but... He was a very, very disturbed individual, was he not? Anyway, we now have to return to Garam and... Hopefully resolve our issues on Narshadar. Not that I am... Sort of wanting to leave. I kind of like Narshadar, but yes, now that I've seen this place, I kind of want to get out of here. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.